Has this ever happened to you? You are cast in a paranormal teenage romance with dubious science content. Just one call to 1-800-SCIENCE would connect you to caring science professionals. Thank you for calling 1-800-SCIENCE. No, honey, the dinosaurs are not real in Jurassic Park. You're welcome. Had Bella called 1-800-SCIENCE, she would know that just looking into a microscope, you wouldn't just see one cell in a specific phase of mitosis, but you would have seen hundreds of cells. So glancing in a microscope and shouting out a phase of mitosis couldn't possibly be accurate. Go ahead, Bella. Why don't you call 1-800-SCIENCE right now? Empowered with this information, things might have gone differently. Let's watch. Prophase? Really? Which cell? There are hundreds of cells up there. Did you even focus the microscope? No. None. None. You know what? I decided. You are doing this lab report. None. 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 Why? Because you're in the last 50 years of the yearbook is why. You know what? My dad was so right about you. You were just a creepy pale guy with a glitter problem. Thanks, 1-800-SCIENCE. 1-800-SCIENCE. Caring science professionals just a phone call away. Stu, thank you for coming to make up the mitosis lab when we're talking about microscopes, cell cycle, and what happens in animals and plant cells during mitosis. I was so sorry to hear about your grandmother and her broken hip. I understand she crashed her motorcycle at Sturgis at Bike Week, but hopefully her cells are on the mend and she'll be back up and riding her Harley in no time. So what we're looking at at this point is the cell cycle and that the cells go through a discrete cycle of growth, uh, DNA replication, and getting ready to divide before they actually divide. And we have two slides to look at. We have onion root tip, which is a plant, and we have a whitefish blastula, which is a fertilized solid ball of fish embryo to look at what mitosis looks like in animal cells and plant cells. But first, let's get into your textbook and look at microscope. Um, you guys, uh, you have been looking at microscopes for a long time. You know which end to look in. You know how to plug them in and turn them on, objectives, eyepieces. And if you don't know, look in the back of your textbook to figure out what is what and what to do. A few caveats. Make sure that your stage is all the way up and focus down. That way you never slam your stage up into your objective, which could cause damage. Um, but otherwise, we've done the microscope lab and you have passed off on that. So let's just get started in terms of this slide right here and, and mitosis. Have a look at that slide, Stu. Go ahead and focus. Now, are you looking at something that looks like this? What we have here is a field of view showing hundreds upon hundreds of mitosis root tip cells. Now, root tips uh, are very fast dividing going through mitosis. So what we have here is cells in lots of different phases. Uh, some an interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. How easily do you think you could count all of these cells and tell me how many were in what phase? Would that be difficult? Exactly. That's why I recommend that we use these. I have a set of photomicrograph cards 
that in each represents a field of view. This and a wet erase marker will allow you to tally how many cells are in interface and how many are actually in mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Then a little bit of math and we'll know exactly how long each cell is in which phase of cell division. Sound great? Let's get started. So as we are looking at the cell cycle over here, Stu, um, what we have here is we see that the cell spends most of its time in interphase. It's growing, it's getting ready to divide. It spends relatively little time in mitosis and it would be really helpful for us to figure out what proportion of the time we're in interphase versus emphase mitosis. So looking here in the textbook, it shows us, as far as the nucleus is concerned, what's going on in the nucleus of each. In interphase, we've got a dark condensed nucleus, not much going on. Um, in prophase, things begin uh, to condense. Then in metaphase, we are lined up along the center. Anaphase, we're separating apart. And telophase, we pinch the cells in two and the nuclei go back and condense again. So as we look on the cards here, uh, lots of them, the majority of them are in interphase. We can see a few that are beginning to condense into prophase. We can see a frank metaphase, um, anaphase, and when you start to see the reforming of the cell wall between two nuclei uh, and the nucleus going solid again with a membrane around a telophase. So what you are going to do with this as your guide is count each one of the cells on all three fields and mark the, as best as you think if they're interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, or telophase. And then we'll do some math to see what portion of the time a cell really spends in interphase versus emphase, mitosis plus cytokinesis. So, whenever you're ready. Wow, seemed like that took forever, but um, you realize now that looking into a slide and pronouncing it prophase just really, really doesn't work. And that between looking at a book and looking at photomicrographs, it's hard to say if something is early interphase uh, or late telophase and where those boundaries are. But we took your tally sheet and have it here as the sum of the three cards for how many were in each phase on each. Uh, we totaled that, then we added those together to get the total number of cells that we tallied, and then we divide each of these by the total number, multiply that by 100, and you get a percent. So looking here at the cell cycle, we now know that a cell spends at least 70% and maybe up to um, 80 or 90 percent of its life depending on um, which photo cards that you happen to pull in interface and that makes sense most of its uh, life it's spending growing and getting big enough so that it can actually carry out a division then we can get down to the small relatively small amount of time it is in M phase in mitosis um, cytokinesis is different from mitosis, PMAT, because this is when we're actually completely dividing the cells in two, and that's not part of the nuclear division aspect that is mitosis. So, so now, instead of the plant cell, the allium root tip, you are looking at the whitefish blastula fish egg slide, right? Okay, and it looks really different from the plant cell. There are no more discrete little boxes with cool little nuclei. Instead, we have fleshy, round, pink things. Now, a blastula is a solid ball of cells, so these are fertilized fish embryos that have been cut like bologna, and we have uh, plastered them on a slide. So, you should be looking at something that looks like this. You can see the outlines of cell 
membranes, no cell walls here, and you can see uh, that you've got nuclear activity. So we're looking at the same phases, interphase most of the time, PMAT, but we're not regimentally squeezed in in boxes. The other thing is that plant cells and animal cells divide a little differently and that we use spindle and centriole to pull the chromosomes apart where instead no centrioles and plant cells they actually anchor to the cell wall to to pull them apart and in between the two they actually build cell plate it's the plate that that plants have that they don't eat off of <laughs> yeah i'm ashamed of that joke too Stu. um make drawings of this and you're done thank you so much Stu. In the diagram below, cell A is undergoing mitosis. If cell A has six chromosomes, how many chromosomes will the resulting cells B and C have? A, none, B, three each, C, six each, or D, twelve each. A graph showing the time stages of the cell cycle is shown below. According to the information in the graph, the S phase, A, lasts only one hour, B, takes approximately seven hours, C, is twice as long as the G1 phase, or D. The diagram below shows a plant cell during the four stages of mitosis, but the stages are out of order. What is the correct order of the stages of mitosis shown below? A, Two, one, three, four. B, two, one, four, three. C, three, two, one, four. Or D, four, one, two, three.